80% of the time when you call a prospect, you're gonna get voicemail, no matter what. First call, 10th call, 20th call, it's just the way the world works. And if it's your first time calling them and you leave a voicemail, 90% of the time, they're never gonna call you back. And to JoJo's point a minute ago, the reason why that happens is you're not leaving a voicemail message because your ego's involved. You're like, click, I'll try them. Some jabroni was like, this is smart. Here's what we'll do. Don't leave voicemails and just keep calling them back. They'll think it's their moms in the emergency room and eventually answer. That is garbage, okay? If you have put in the time to dial the number and wait for the voicemail message, leave a message. But to Joanne's point, be more skillful. Don't leave a mini, hey Matt, Barry Adams here. We help companies like you save 70% on your advertising. Ba 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 ba. Click gross, don't et, block Barry. Let them know who you are, how you're connected. And then we've talked about this agnosium. It can be as simple as I've got an idea I wanna get your opinion on. AK Matt Easton, founder of Easton University. We're connected on LinkedIn. Um, yeah, I've got an idea that I would love to get your opinion on. Can you call me on my mobile? 720-660-3202, okay? You're gonna find that 90% number is now down in the 60s. You still, I, I, guys, I wanna set the right expectations. Once you get really skillful at this, yeah, a lot of your prospects will call you back. But if you can get 60% of them or 40% to call you back and 60% don't call you back, you're still going to be great. And here's the other cool thing. If you leave a message like that the first time, the propensity for them to call you back on your second call is off the charts. It's like not even measurable because you weren't, you weren't unskillful when you left that first message and you didn't, you weren't calling them and hanging up.